don't forget the ads feed the ducks and the ducks we're raising this year we're donating to local food banks if you want to help out the duck adventure the link below 50 ducks on a hot tub you can buy one of these t-shirts you can donate monthly you can make one-time donation and the most important thing you can do is like the video and don't forget to share it guys hello everybody and welcome to the duck adventure for october the second um, I'm not letting ducks out right away. It's about nine o'clock right now. I think it's about quarter after nine actually. I have to run to town. When I get back, I'm gonna let the ducks out. I just don't want the ducks out when I'm not here. You know, just with the, the things that have been happening, I don't, uh, I don't want to take any chances. We, uh, you know, I think we haven't lost a duck in a long time to a predator and I just don't want to give the opportunity. But they want out. They're just waking up here. Because I'm late this morning, they've uh, had a little bit of a snooze here. It's still windy though. Not nice guys. The weather sucks. You can actually see the duck feathers coming up. They don't like this wind at all. Oh, they're coming over. They're waking up here. Well, I'm going to whip the town, get back here, and uh, well, first I'm going to get out of sight because I'm tormenting the ducks by being out here. I'll be back shortly. Well, I'm back from town. I'm going to shoot the shotgun off. And, uh, and this wind is crazy again, and the ducks are all freaked out about the wind. I can't believe the yard, guys. It looks like it snowed here. Just look at this. I'll show you the front of the house here before I uh, do the shotgun. I can't believe the yard. The whole driveway is covered like that, guys. It's crazy. I can't believe the feathers this year. I guess this is what you call a feather storm. All right, shotgun went off. Nothing's uh, here. Well, if there was, it's gone now. Doug seriously wound up. Everybody's wound up. The wind and the cool weather. <laughs> Dougie, he's crazy today. Like, I'm probably gonna have to yell at him. Dougie, are you gonna be good? Because I don't want grief in the comments. Actually, I gotta tie the gate. Oh, this is gonna be a trip. All right, I gotta go inside. Oh, I know, Dougie, you wanna go inside too. We'll get the uh, gate notched here. Oh, she's windy, guys. Oh, come on, Doug. All right, let's see if we can get the ducks to come out here. They're seriously screwed up. The wind's screwing them up. I don't believe this. Four days of this wind now. There it is. Get back. Come on. Let's give the ducks some room here. Come here. Oh, the feather storm is starting again. They come out flapping their wings, and then, oh, Doug's grabbing feathers in the sky. Doug, come here! Forget about the swamp! Come here! Come on! Hey, Doug, come here! Doug! Oh, he's got his head up. He's smelling something in the swamp. Uh, I wish this wind would screw off. It was last night, there was no wind. I thought for sure it was gonna be nice. And it's turned out to be another nasty day. Come here, come here. The thing is, is uh, when it's like this, you know, the ducks, all they do is just sit in the yard. They don't go down to the creek. I don't believe the feathers, though. It's crazy. I don't know how, if it's showing up in the video very good. It's like a snowstorm. Okay, Doug, why are you biting my leg? Yeah, they're not interested in doing anything. The wind has got them too screwed up. Hey, come here. Come on. I gotta go and uh, get the duck feed here and fill up the feeder, do my duck chores, and get on with my day here. I don't know how to say this, guys. I'm, uh, I'm not the best at, uh, you know, I don't know how you say, uh, revealing my problems. 
by uh, you know the ducks have got to be out here October 22nd now for one reason is that there's no more slaughter dates after October 23rd so they have to go and to the, but the the biggest absolutely the, the, actually they're almost well, actually they're you know, the, my other reason is worse um, which I don't I don't really want to talk about it right now uh, what my other problem is but I'm gonna let you guys know once I uh, get my hand get a handle on it and and get it figured out and how it's gonna how uh, I'm gonna deal with it all but I'll be honest with you, um, you know, one of the reasons I don't want to talk about it publicly is just the negativity on the internet. You know, there are so many positive fans out there, you know, and I, I know this, guys, believe me, I know, uh, you know, who the positive fans are, but it's just that, you know, the, the you know, none of them, the only word I can say is the idiots. The idiots that, you know, you never hear them on the channel, they never comment, but, you know, they just love to throw the jabs and, uh, this this problem I have right now, I, I I honestly I couldn't take a job. I couldn't take a job uh, because the problem is so severe. It's uh, it, it's a really put it this way, guys. It is a problem that nobody in their life wants to be faced with. So uh, you know, and and to have the potential of jabs coming at me on the channel is the last thing I want to deal with. I don't even I don't want to even go there. Uh, but your you know your positive support in the comments and and, and you know and cheering me on and uh, you know believe me that is giving me the strength to deal with the problem. And and I, and once I get it figured out and and you know and get it you know either settled or out of control, um, I'll let you know. Believe me, I'm going to fill you in on what's going on. And when I fill you in, guys, you're going to crap your pants. I'm going to tell you that right now. You're not going to believe uh, what I've been dealing with here for the last over 45 days. I just haven't let on about it. You probably, some of you might have noticed that, you know, my I'm a little bit off my game, uh, you know, this last month and a half. Uh, well, when you find out, uh, when, I, when I reveal what has been happening here, you're going to go, holy mackerel. That's, uh, it's going to, it's going to blow your mind. Anyways, uh, because it's blowing mine. So that's the deal. So I got to go do my duck chores and then, uh, we're going to be, you know, I got to go and do my, do my stuff. Uh, and then we'll do a little bit of filming this afternoon of watching the ducks in a big group in the middle of the yard, freaking out about the wind. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and enjoy the show. Sit. Well, it started, guys. The wind's really picking up again. It's crazy, and the ducks are just staying in a big circle. This is it. Unbelievable. Four days of duck circles. I just went over the garage and brought over four bags of feed, and I looked over, and they're just in this big circle. And Doug, uh, he's not uh, paying attention to anything. He doesn't even have his head up, and uh, if there was something here with the wind blowing off the lake, he'd be, uh, you know, he'd be heading that direction. Walking over to the garage, getting the feed, I, uh, I had a, a, a thought, uh, some comments that had been coming up on the on the site because of the fundraiser, and you know, people said I should have got the money ahead of time. You know, I should have, you know, raised all the funds then done this. You know, uh, well, you know, in life, you know, doing it that way, that's it's almost like a government operation. Nothing gets done. Um, I, you know, I, I believed in this. I believed in a leap of faith. I believe that we could pull it off, and we're so close to pulling it off. And honestly, guys, I, I know we're going to pull it off. It's going to happen. I just, I just, you can't do something as positive as this, and and have it fail. It just, it doesn't make any sense. And sooner or later, you know, we're going to get the recognition we need to pull it off, to finish this off. And you know, with your support, it's been your support as the fan. You know, the fans have supported this. The fans have funded this whole deal. Uh, so far, you know, so now it's time for the internet to, uh, you know, to step up to the plate and finish it off for us. You know, we've, we've done the hardest part. You know, you guys supplied the money to feed the ducks and I, I supplied the time on raising them and taking care of them. And, you know, it's been a team effort. And now, uh, you know, we're on the cusp of pulling this off, guys. I, I believe it. I feel it. I know it. I just, there's no way we can get this close and fail. I, I just don't, I tell you, if we fail, I will be freaking shocked. That's all I can say. I will be shocked. I don't believe it's going to happen. I believe, uh, you know, that the, the, you know, I believe the universe is going to step in here and it's going to give us a little bit of a push that we need, and we're going to get, you know, this the 3,000 pounds of duck meat to the homeless shelter, and they're going to have a great meal. Uh, you know, that homeless shelter feeds a lot of people. If you go to their website and you look at the daily meals they feel, they feed, feel, feed. Uh, you know, on an average day, they're doing like 1,400 meals a day. 
on an average day. So, you know, it's not a small shelter. So it's, uh, you know, this this is going to go to a good use and it's, you know, there are people today, you know, there's a lot of people out there that have had a really streak of bad luck and they need some help. And, you know, and this is what this is all about is, is to, you know, do to, you know, raise up animals, you know, happy animals for food uh, and sharing it with the world and, and you know, and, and having it go to a good place, you know. Uh, so that, that's, you know, I just want to get that off my chest because, you know, I see the comments, you know, people, oh, you, you should have got your money ahead of time. It's like, well, you know, if I... I I, I've got nothing to say to those kind of people. I'm just sorry. I'm not that kind of person to sit back and and plan everything to death. I, I'm a doer, and I believe in taking the you know the leap of faith and just do it. Get it done. That's the bottom line. <laughs> Even Doug's starting to uh, get spooked about things. The wind's causing him to uh, get all worked up. Oh, he's gone now. That's about the second, second or third time he's done that where he's taken off into the bull rush and barking. The ducks have no interest in going anywhere uh, but just staying in the yard. You're not gonna believe it. I already, I have an earache already. I need to have my hat with my ear flaps. The wind is crazy. Today's worse than it ever been, than it's ever been the last five, four days, and it's actually supposed to be a, a calm day. Whoa! That was a gust of wind, guys. Okay. This is not a nice day. All the ducks. I don't know what to do. Right now they're watching the swamp for Doug. Oh, here comes Dougie. Maybe something is here. Doug just took off again. Ducks are coming all towards me and Doug's headed down to the swamp. I'm gonna grab the shotgun and go down there. Something was here. Doug uh, took off into the bulrushes, wouldn't come back. I could hear him uh, smashing through the bulrushes. The wind is, uh, it's gotta be um, uh, pulling something from the other side of the lake scent wise because uh, there's no way. I just fired off two more rounds. There's like no animal is going to stick around when I fire. No, I fired off a total of five rounds so far since I've been home. There's just no way anything would stick around. But it, the smell has got to be coming from uh, either you know, the bush line on the other side of the lake or in the swamp somewhere. Because Doug's, uh, that's all he's doing. He's got his face in the swamp now uh, and he keeps taking off down there. And the ducks are, are staying up here right like close to the house. They're not even down here near the swamp now. But something must be around here. Something's close. I don't want to think I got my ears are killing me from this wind. It's about 20 after five. I was just uh, deciding what I'm gonna do for supper. I uh, did plan out supper this morning. I just, I haven't gotten around to start preparing it. But uh, I looked out and there wasn't any ducks in the yard, except for, you know, the Muscovies and, and Doug. And I looked down and uh, they're down at the creek. So I thought I'd come down here and I'm gonna shoot a round off on the, uh, the shotgun, just to make sure, you know, everything's all right. Uh, it's still pretty windy. Actually, it's really windy. Oh man, I hope this weather changes. Actually, I was inside editing and I couldn't believe, because I've, I've never heard wind noise with the big camera because I've got a dead kitten on the mic and it's pretty good at blocking out the wind. And I was actually listening to the, uh, the episode when I was editing and I couldn't believe the howl uh, in the background and it was going right through the dead kitten. So it gives you an idea, guys, of, uh, you know, I don't know if you've paid attention over the, the last two years, but, you know, when I'm using the big camera, you, you hardly ever tell it's windy. Pivot heads are a different story. Actually, the last four days, uh, the pivot heads you can't even film outside because the, uh, the wind is so brutal. Actually, I've, I've deleted so much footage of uh, me with the pivot heads on that uh, it's just a howl. 
You can't even hear me talk. You can't hear the ducks quack. All you hear is just the, 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 that thrashing sound of the wind on the mic. But the ducks are down here in the water. So I'm just going to uh, let a round off just to uh, clear the swamp of anything that it, you know, it decides that, uh, or is lurking, I should have decides, lurking here. But at least they're at the water, not in the yard. They're, taking, they're, they're freshening themselves up for the night here because the days are shorter now because it's actually going to be dark here in about another hour and 40 minutes. But they're, uh, they're doing the duck thing at the water, but they won't go on the lake because of the canned geese. The canned geese are screwing everything up. And as we know, domestic ducks are petrified of Canada geese. So I'm going to let the shotgun off here and uh, just, uh, you know, clear the swamp. Well, if there's something down here, it's gone now. I'm using a little different uh, shot. I don't know if you've noticed it louder. Um, I found this box of uh, shells. It's, no, it's a number seven and a half. Um, they're a three inch magnum uh, bird shot. Seven inch, number seven and a half, three inch, crazy stuff. Um, they're like, the box has got to be 30 years old. Well, they're, they're rusted on the back end of them. That's how old they were. I didn't even know I had them. I found them in my basement. And I thought, oh, I don't know if I want to shoot them. And uh, they've got some serious kick to them, and they're really freaking loud. Actually, I think they're probably paper wad. They're not even plastic. I, I think that's how old they are. Actually, like number seven and a half uh, shotgun shell is meant for partridge. I can't even imagine hunting with a three inch magnum, uh, you know, hunting a partridge. Poor bird would get just some, actually disintegrated if you hit it. It's about six o'clock, end of the day here. And uh, I just realized there's a group of ducks in the pen. They haven't left the pen all day. This group of ducks never left. They've stayed in the pen the whole day. The wind, eh? they're just like basket cases. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and enjoy the show. And this group is in some kind of holding pattern in the middle of the swamp. I don't know what's going on down there. I'm going for a walk down there to check it out. I think once they start walking down there, they'll start coming back. I know one thing, I'm sick of the wind, so it's got to be, you know, the ducks have got to be getting sick of it too. It's, uh, it's been pretty relentless here. It seems like forever. It's been, uh, you know, I think like three or four days, four days at least. It's brutal anyways. I know that much. It's, uh, it's not fun. This time of year when the weather changes, I hate it. I just, you know, once it becomes fall and you know it's fall, and it's a little easier to handle. This in-between thing sucks. Even Dougie's all screwed up today. He's not even being himself. Nobody is, actually. Just look at them in a holding pattern here. They're absolutely confused. The ducks don't know what to do. But some Canada geese did fly over, so that is really screwing with their brains. Happens every year. Are you going back to the yard, ducks? I'm surprised uh, there's some older Muscovies down here with them. Oh, there's the wind again. First thing I'm doing when I get back to the house, I'm digging my winter jacket out of my hat. I've had enough. This is crazy. Every time I come out here, I keep getting a chill. Come on, ducks, let's go home. You guys hanging around in the swamp like this? This is not a good, this is not a good time of the year to be down here. This is when Mr. Coyotes like to come in. Doug, you're doing so good, you're being relaxed.
Come on, duck. Do you trip? Doug, come here. Doug, 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 listen. Come here. Leave the duck alone. Okay, this little Muscovy breeder is behind me here. She's uh, in a world of her own. She's not coming home with the flock. I wonder why there, these ones never flew at all this year. Actually, this year it sucked for Muscovy flying action. It just isn't happening. Look at the Scobies run. They're so fast. Oh, they're gonna do some flying for us. Are you gonna fly? <laughs> a little, little bit of a hot fly. Not really a fly at all. Alright, all they're in together. Doug has been really good here. I think the wind uh, got Doug all worked up today. I think it got everybody worked up. Ducks and Doug and me. I gotta show you this. Uh, Doug, come here. Come here, Doug. Don't get that. I don't want that ducks to move here. Look at this. Angel. Look how dark she is. Her feathers are absolutely black. She better start growing some new feathers. Winter's coming real soon. Real soon. Real soon here. Oh, I can't even talk. That time of year, my face is getting cold, so my lips don't work right. I can't believe how dark her feathers are. She's black compared to the other Muscovies. Sorry about the bad camera there, guys. I'm, I was all over the place. I'm trying to do two things at once. I'm, I'm watching the Muscovies and... We've got quite the little group of Muscovies happening here. It's a shame we've lost so many this year uh, to botulism and... It, it, that, I, that box one is, man. The Muscovies, I don't know if it's because they drill into more things than the other ducks. It's the only thing that makes any sense. Moe's looking real good, though. The other uh, the other young males are starting to get as big as Moe. But he's looking awesome. His white feathers, he's getting all fluffy for winter. Moe's got quite a harem here. All right, well, the duckies are in the yard. I didn't like them in that big group down in the swamp like that. So when they're all like in a big circle in the, in the middle of the swamp, it just makes it too easy for, you know, a coyote just to run through and grab one because that's exactly how they operate. They just, you know, run through the flock and grab a duck on the way through. So it's better that they're in the yard with Doug. Less chance of that happening. Oh, Dougie. Oh, what are you doing laying over there, you silly dog? Hey, Dougies, what are you doing? All right, ducks, let's do the rounds here. What do we got? They're all in the front here. We're back to the white light, guys. I got a hat on, as you can tell now. I had enough of this chill thing uh, and my winter jacket. I dug it out. Had enough. Winter's coming here. And I'm not walking around with a chill. I should be smarter being a Canadian and living here my whole life. The weather uh, gets like this every year. Come on, Doug, back, back. Give the ducks some room. <laughs> yeah, I know, Dougies. You need a warm bath tonight. I'll do the warm water. That wind, man, it feels like winter. Sucks. Come on, ducks, get inside.
Okay, look at these ducks. They're going over to the, the little door. Walk right by the big door. Let's go to the small gate. They like the little gate more. Come on, get inside, ducks. Alright, we're in. I think Doug's looking forward to his warm shower tonight. <laughs> Dougie, are you looking forward to your warm shower tonight? Alright. Ducks are in. We're so freaked out. Poor guys. That wind. Hopefully this weather changes. The weather forecast is still basically, it sucks. It's still calling for like 12 degrees and rain. I, it was supposed to rain today, but then this morning the forecast changed and uh, it was supposed to be actually sunny and, uh, and no wind. And it was, well, it was sunny, but well, it really wasn't that sunny. It was a little bit overcast, but the wind was brutal. But now the wind's calmed down again. I hope it stops. I, you know, I don't mind the weather when it's, you know, 13 degrees and, and you know, no wind and the sun, you know, it actually feels nice this time of year. That wind just makes it brutal. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends.